Hey, what's going on? Hunter here from Hybrid Fitness. And today's video, we're talking about how you can motivate your spouse or significant other to start working out. How would you suggest motivating your significant other or spouse to work out? I would say to make it fun and be willing to do it with them. I would work out with them. Oh. We do it together. By talking a lot about what we do here and trying to make good choices with my eating habits and shopping habits. So basically leading by example. Yes. <laughs> it's a tough question. <laughs> by going myself. I would definitely probably encourage them to do it with me because when you have some a partner to work with, you're more apt to get it done. Do it with them, do it together. I think teamwork makes everything work better. One of the most common questions that we get from new members in hybrid fitness is how can I also get my spouse or my significant other to get started working out and be motivated to do it? And it's a hard question because the reality is you can't force anybody to do something that they don't want to do. Just like it may have taken you a while to build up the momentum to start exercising and eating healthier for your goals. It might take them a while as well and we all are at different paces. When you're in a relationship with somebody, you really need to accept who they are for all the good and maybe the not so good. You know, you fall in love with them because of the things you love. And then there's other things you might not love as much but you do learn to love them. Just like snoring or bad morning breath. Uh, my fiance can attest to that. Hey babe, you want a protein shake kiss? How was it? Good. It was? No. I thought I'd have bad breath. It's not terrible. It's not? I mean, earlier it was. But there really is no changing somebody unless they're willing to change themselves. So that lies the question. If, if you really care about this person's health and you know that it's going to benefit them to work out with you, maybe it'll even benefit your relationship, how can you influence them to start taking the actions that you want them to see. Now what I would recommend not doing is telling them you need to work out and telling them all the negative benefits of them not working out and guilting them and shaming them. This is not very effective in most cases. In fact, more of a demotivator. There's a great saying that I heard in a book called Super Rich. And in this book, it makes an analogy with a chipmunk. And it says, if you want a chipmunk to eat a nut, you can't chase after it, right? You can't take the nut and like try and make the chipmunk eat it. You have to let the nut sit in your hand and hold it there. And then over time, the chipmunk will get curious and will sniff it out and it'll eat it. And the same goes for this. And as you saw from a lot of the interviews that we did with the public, a lot of people feel that same way, that if you're gonna motivate your spouse or your significant other to start working out, you simply show them the benefits by doing it yourself. Rich, who was in one of the interviews in the beginning of this, afterwards he suggested that maybe you ask your significant other for help. And often people are more motivated to help the other person than help themselves. I need a little motivation, can you help me get motivated by going for a walk? Something as simple as that and in the process of them helping you, maybe they find that this is something they really enjoy and they wanna do more with you or maybe they wanna do more on their own. Asking for help is a good strategy to get them to take action and get motivated without using guilt and shaming or really just being naggy to motivate them. At the end of the day, you can't change anybody or act for anybody else, but you can take action yourself in working out and eating healthier. And by doing that, other people will see that, they'll see the benefits uh, that you're reaping from it, and that can be used as motivation. And if you just ask for help in that goal, you may find that more people, your spouse, will want to get involved with that. They'll want to support you. And in that support, they may find that they enjoy it themselves. If this was helpful, please consider hitting the like button down below. You know, let me know, is there a strategy that's worked for you? Leave that down in the comments. And finally, if this video is helpful to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, small steps, big results.